Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video series, we are planning to talk about the application of statistical methods in manufacturing industry. Please subscribe to this channel to get notified when a new video is released. In this video, we will be looking at log normal distribution. The log normal distribution is often used to model parts or components that fail primarily due to stress or fatigue, including the following applications. Failure due to chemical reactions or degradation such as corrosion, migration, or diffusion, which is a common with the semiconductor failure. Time to fracture in metals subject to the growth of fatigue cracks or in electronic components that shows decreased risk of failure after a certain time. The lifetime of a product that degrades over time is often modeled by log normal random variable. This is a common distribution for the lifetime of the semiconductor laser. Other continuous distribution can also be used in this type of applications. Use this distribution if the logarithm of the random variable is normally distributed and greater than zero. Because the log normal distribution is derived from a simple exponential function of a random number variable, it's easy to understand and easy to evaluate probabilities. Here is the probability density function, the mean value and the variance of log normal random variable x. This graph shows probability distribution function with different values for a scale parameter omega. It attains values of 0.5, 1, and 1.5. And this graph shows the PDF with different location and scale parameters. For example, here's the graph for location 0 and omega 0.5. And here is the PDF for location 0 and scale parameter 1. You can easily visualize the effect of omega. The cumulative distribution function for log normal random variable x is defined as the probability that the log normal random variable x is less than or equal to some value a. This graph shows the cumulative distribution function for different values of the scale parameter omega. In this equation, z is a standard normal random variable, say z value, which can be used to determine the probability. The z value calculation was explained in normal distribution video. Please watch that video to learn how to calculate z value and how to use z table. Let's switch to MATLAB. We can generate a vector of random numbers from the log normal distribution with theta and omega parameter and plot those randomly generated numbers. We can also find the probability distribution function with one data parameter and multiple values for omega parameter like 0.5, 1, and 1.5. Evaluate it at the values in x and then plot the pdf. We can also find the cdf of log normal distribution with one data parameter and multiple values for omega parameter 0.5, 1, and 1.5 and evaluate it at the values in x. We can also compute the probability that an observation from a standard log normal distribution falls on the interval 2 to 5. There are other ways to create log normal distribution in MATLAB. We can create a log normal distribution object using mu and sigma parameters, which are our location and scale parameter. Now we can create random numbers from that distribution object that we already created. Let's call it PD. Then we construct a histogram using 100 beans with a log normal distribution fit. We can also calculate the mean and a standard deviation of log normal random variable. This line returns the mean and variance of log normal distribution 
with the distribution parameters mu and sigma. The mean is 1.65 and the variance is 4.67. And here we have computed the PDF values for log normal distribution at the values in X and have plotted the PDF function. Let's switch to Minitab. In Minitab, we could plot log normal distribution with different parameters. Go to Graph and then Probability Distribution Plots. Select Vary Parameters. From the drop down menu, select Log Normal and input 0 and 1 for location parameter data and 0.5, 1, and 1.5 for the scale parameter omega and hit OK. Here is the graph which shows different distributions. Let's solve this example in Minita. The lifetime of medical laser used in a surgery has a log normal distribution with the data equal to 6 and omega equal to 1.2 hours. What is the probability the lifetime exceeds 500 hours? What lifetime is exceeded by 99% of lasers? And what is the mean and standard deviation of lifetime? We are going to answer these three questions in MATLAB and Minitab. Let's answer the first two questions in Minitab. Go to Graph and then Probability Distribution Plot and select View Probabilities. From drop down menu, select Log Normal and input 6 for Location Parameter and 1.2 for a Scale Parameter Omega. And then go to Shaded Area tab and select X Value and select Right Tail since we are looking for lifetime greater than 500 hours. The result says that 42.9% probability the lifetime exceeds 500 hours. Let's answer the second question. To answer this, go to graph and then probability distribution plot and then select view probabilities. From drop down menu, select log normal and input 6 for location parameter and 1.2 for scale parameter omega. And then go to shaded area tab and select probability. And select right tail since we are looking for probability of lifetime greater than 99%. The result says that 99% of lasers exceed the lifetime of 24.7 hours. Let's answer the third question in MATLAB and find the mean and standard deviation of lifetime. First, create the log normal distribution object. Then, we can calculate the mean with log normal stat function. The mean is 828 hours and the variance is around 2 million. All right, this video covered log normal distribution. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave your comments below. We will continue to make such videos for you. We are going to release video series on different topics, including application of statistics in manufacturing and quality control, robotics and mechatronics, industrial machine vision, system dynamics, finite element analysis with abacus, GDNT and tolerance analysis, and many other interesting topics. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel to get notified when a new video on this topic is released.